think it's been about a day since I released the last OSCP Struggle Bus Diaries, but here's episode two. I guess if you've been following me on Twitter, then you probably know why I'm doing another one, but I'm going to get into at least one update before I move on to why I'm doing this episode. So I did a thread on Twitter. You can see it there, probably. And I did that because I was looking at different video editing software. Um, I've used Premiere before and really enjoyed it, but it's a little bit pricey, like to the tune of like 20 bucks a month. I just went ahead and shelled over the money to renew my Premiere license. So hopefully you'll be seeing a higher quality vlog video thing. Today I popped the first shell on the OSCP. It was almost entirely on accident, which is kind of the story of my life. Basically, I was doing enumeration on all of the boxes, noticed that there was some pretty easy to exploit SMB stuff. I did some SMB enumeration, found different users. Then I found a file in the www root directory that had hard-coded creds in it. The creds were for the SQL server, logged into the SQL server, and after like four hours, five hours later, the way to get the shell to work. I basically fetched a shell from my local computer to the SQL directory, ran it as the SQL user, which was the system. Yeah, it was a system user and popped a interpreter shell on it. So I learned a lot about what I need to do and need to learn and what I wish I had learned more about. I wish I understood SMB outside of the MS080667 script kitty exploit. Um, that's pretty much all I knew about SMB. I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know what it was for. I didn't know how to interface with it. It would have made my life a lot easier, especially on this particular box, if I had known more about how SMB works. I wish I knew a lot more about Windows internals. I watched a talk at, it was SparkCon last year by Casey Smith, aka Sub T, Twitter right there. He is basically like the guru over all things Windows internals. It went like way over my head. Um, didn't understand a word of it. I, I just, you know, kind of glazed over and, you know, moved on from there. Problem was, I didn't go back and try to learn any of the stuff that he was talking about. I didn't read any of his prior research. I ended up finding a blog post that told me exactly how to exploit. You basically had an, an XP command shell through the SQL interface that allowed you to run you know, any command that you wanted. I had to find a way to fetch a file from my computer and start a reverse shell from the target. That sounds really simple. I knew exactly what I needed to do. I just didn't know how to do it. And if I had known Windows internals a little bit better, it would have made my life a lot less hell for the last, for the three hours that it took for me to um, actually get it to work. Finally, as people have told me multiple times before, during and after the OSCP, enumeration is key. The only way to find the exploits is to actually enumerate what's running on the system and, and from there you can start to pivot in pretty much it all boils down to understanding smb understanding windows internals and understanding a little bit more about how interpreter works and the different things that you can do with it all in all it felt fantastic i mean it was it was a big morale boost um because it, it was kind of i had this big list of just you know a bunch of ips in front of me bunch of domains, a lot of information, in map scans and all of that. Um, I had all of that in front of me, but that's it. You know, I didn't know exactly where to start. I didn't, you know, I basically just closed my eyes and picked one at random. And, you know, it was one that luckily I, I could end up figuring out. So, you know, one of the pieces of advice that helped me with this one that I would give is once you have found an avenue for exploitation. So in this case, let's say it's the SMB access. I found SMB read access. Once you find that, you know, that avenue for initial exploitation, just poke around. Um, I found the file that had the hard coded credentials in it pretty much just from poking around. I was just like, Ooh, that looks interesting. I downloaded everything or I, I actually, it was something that was already in the WW root folder. Um, and I was able to view it from the browser and then you've got hard coded credentials right there. So, 
poke around as much as you can. You know, it may lead nowhere, it may lead somewhere. You may find hard-coded credentials that may take, you know, chain together exploits in order to figure it out, but you will figure it out. Um, you just have to really have the wherewithal to poke through all of it. I'm going to continue to do these at least once a week. If, if I hit a milestone like this, if you know, I, I found if I find something else interesting or if I think there's advice, then I'll definitely, you know, do kind of like an impromptu vlog like this. You guys have shown some awesome support since the first OSCP struggle bus. Um, I ended up getting like over 200 views on the first episode in the first day, first two days. Um, and got a couple of sus subscribers on YouTube and people found me on Twitter and reached out and said they really appreciated it. So I am going to continue doing these. Um, if you guys have anything that you want to know in particular, obviously I can't give out like cheats um, and I can only give out certain kinds of hints, you know, especially since I don't really know myself. If you've got anything that you would like to see in particular, you know, kind of poke my brain about certain things, then, you know, this, I I'm probably not going to do a Q and A right now. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure out some format for me to be able to answer those questions. Thank you guys for the support. And next episode should be coming out next week. Thank you.